Sakim Mikado Herutoro was born into the prestigious Onmyoji family, but can't see spirit energy. Therefore, he's been enjoying a peaceful daily life with his friends at the Onmyo branch school. One day, his childhood friend Sakimikado Natsume, heir to the head family, suddenly appears. Will this cause his destiny to spring into motion? Herutoro Tsuchimikado recalls his childhood promise while sleeping during summer school before he and his friend Toji Edo encounter Hokuto. Idling away the day, Hokuto lectures Herutoro once again to become an Anyo mage. On his way home, Herutoro unexpectedly meets his childhood friend Natsume but ends up offending her prompting Natsume to leave. The next day, Tuji enlightens Herutoro on Natsume's comments before they meet up with Hokuto at the festival. Hokuto promises Herutoro a kiss if he wins but teasingly plays it off but promises to take care of the ribbon. Suzuka Derinji arrives at the festival while Harutora fights with Hokudo about her Ama. Before Harutora can chase her, Suzuka enters and, mistakenly thinking Harutora is Natsume, asks him to help her with a certain ritual she wants to perform. The Magical Investigation Bureau drives up to take Suzuka into custody for use of forbidden magic, but she utilizes an Azura to wash them away, capturing Harutora in the process. When Hokudo arrives revealing Harutora's real identity, Suzuka leaves Hokuto with a message for Natsume and kisses him. Hokuto indirectly reveals she loves Herutora, but avoids him for the next day. Toji discusses what Suzuka wanted with Herutora before he is called away to meet Natsume, wherein Suzuka's familiar, which was inside Herutora's stomach after she kissed him, steals Natsume's spiritual powers. While taking Natsume home, Herutora comes across Suzuka and leaves Natsume to an officer while he goes to Suzuka. Overpowered by Suzuka's juggernaut, the Magical Investigation Bureau agents are spiritually wiped out before Harutora is almost able to convince Suzuka to stop. A badly injured Magic Investigation Department agent binds Suzuka, who, enraged, calls upon her juggernaut to kill him. Harutora saves the agent's life, but as he is about to die, Hokuto sacrifices herself to save Harutora. Alone and grieving over Hokuto's death, Harutora makes his way to Natsume and becomes her familiar. Natsume and Harutora make their way to the shrine by riding Yukikage, a familiar in the form of a white horse, to stop Suzuka, but she retaliates by sending her juggernaut and Azura. As the juggernaut forms a protective barrier around the shrine, Natsume and Harutora battle the two while Harutora develops a strategy to overcome the latter. In the midst of the battle, Harutora falls off Yukikage and Natsume calls out for Hokuto, the Tsuchimikado family's guardian dragon, to save him. Hokuto defeats the Azura and successfully delays the juggernaut enabling Harutora and Natsume to arrive at the shrine, but Suzuka stops them. Suzuka ultimately brings forth a spirit pulse, which is controlling her brother's body and is now strangling her. Harutora and Natsume eventually save Suzuka, whereupon Harutora lets Suzuka see her brother off properly. Afterwards, Natsume reveals that the talisman familiar was a manipulation type, and Hokuto's real controller was somewhere else alive. In Tokyo, Harutora meets with Natsume after enrolling at Anyo Prep School, where he conveys the wrong impression that he knew Hokuto was Natsume the entire time. Harutora doesn't realize Natsume has still kept her ribbon, and when Toji appears having enrolled at Anyo Prep School as well, the two act overly familiar with each other wherein it's subtly revealed that Toji knows Hokuto's controller was Natsume. On the verge of making a connection, Hirutora and Toji leave with Natsume. Hirutora and Toji arrive at the Anyo Academy. The two are greeted by the man-made Shikigami who guards the entrance, Alpha and Omega. Shortly after that, the two meet the principal of the Academy, Mio Kurahashi. The three of them discuss about Natsume and Yakuv Sochimikado, and about the supposed connection between the two. Harutora and Tuji then meet their homeroom teacher, Jin Otomo. While the two introduce themselves, their new classmates are surprised since the two of them transferred half a year later when the new term started. Yuko Kurahashi, the granddaughter of the principal, annoyed by this fact, has a brief argument with Natsume. After that, Harutora is surprised when Natsume and Tuji are acting familiar towards each other as he thinks that they just met yesterday. Harutora and Tuji befriends their new classmate, Tenma Momo. He gives a brief info about Kyuko and the current Kurahashi clan. At the end of the day, Harutora finally meets his Shikigami Khan. Due to a misunderstanding, Natsume catches Harutora with a naked Khan, thus causing her to punish him. The next day, Harutora is not paying attention in the class. Kyuko suggests that the class should abandon those who can't keep up with their studies. Otomo, on the other hand, tells them that he would still help the students despite the strict academy rules. This irritates Kyuko, and at the same time, Khan shows up having her sword pointed towards Kyuko for bad nothing Harutora. Annoyed because of Harutora, Kyuko summons her Shikigami called Hakyu and Kokfu. Seeing this, Jin Otomo suggests them to have a Shikigami duel. 
Harutora tells his plan to Khan, and the two prepare to face against Kyuko's Shikigami. During her fight with Harutora, Kyuko remembers her childhood promise with its Sochimikado boy. After this flashback, Harutora's Bakken energy bursts out due to overcharging. Jin Otomo is forced to stop the duel after watching Harutora lose. Due to his duel against Kyuko, Harutora gets popular in his class which upsets Natsume. Later, Kyuko apologizes to Harutora for her rude behavior, which she reveals due to her assumption that the one she met in her childhood was Natsume. She thinks Natsume has forgot about the promise between her and the Tsuchimikado boy she met. As Natsume arrives, she sees Harutora together with Kyuko and gets upset and cries after scolding him. As Harutora goes to comfort her, she gets caught up in miasma caused by a magic investigator from the Anmu Agency, who is in fact a Yaku disciple. Harutora and the others arrive at the place where Natsume is held hostage by the Yaku disciple, and he summons a one-armed demon whom he calls Kakujoki. After an intense battle with the fake Kakujoki, Harutora manages to break its seal, unable to control the fake Kakujoki. The Yaku disciple flees. After getting rescued by Harutora, Natsume summons her Shikigami dragon Hokudo, which kills the fake Kakujoki. Tuji later confirms that the one-armed demon was not the real Kakujoki. Later in their conversation, Kyuko confesses that she likes Natsume and wants Harutora to help her start dating with Natsume. Harutora is surprised after hearing this as he can't tell her that Natsume is in fact a girl pretending to be a boy. Just after their conversation, Harutora has a flashback of a girl whom he made a promise and the girl looks like a younger Kyuko. The dorm mothers Mako Fujino and Echo Kifu spots Harutora with a Shikigami that looks like Natsume albeit with a male body. They misunderstand the situation and takes their pictures together, which embarrasses Harutora. Weird rumors spread throughout the school about Harutora and Natsume, which now includes Tuji as well thanks to the dorm mothers. Harutora plans to go shopping on his day off, but since Tuji has plans, he suggests Harutora and Natsume to go together. This makes Natsume happy as she considers this as a date with Harutora. Next day, while searching for a clothes shop, the two of them gets lost and end up in a love hotel where they hide from the dorm mothers who were chasing them. While the two shares a light moment together, Han shows up and tells them they are also being searched by Kyuko and Tenma's Shikigami. Natsume thinks that she can handle their Shikigami, but when Jin Otomo shows up to help in their search, she loses all her hope. Harutora calls Tuji for help and the two escape thanks to him. They later meet up with Jin Otomo and others, but things don't go well for Harutora when he is misunderstood again being together with Khan in the hotel room. Later in the evening, Jin Otomo manages to successfully locate and capture the Yako disciple who kidnapped Natsume previously. The principal also shows up controlling her cat Shikigami, and she confirms the Yako disciple's connection with the Twin Horn Syndicate. Shortly after that, Ashia Doman discusses with a man about the Yako Disciple. The man states that he does not want to get involved with the Twin Horn Syndicate's conflict. He also seems interested in the Tsuchimikado branch family's son Harutora. While he is about to leave, it is subtly revealed that he has one arm missing, and that person is actually the real Kakujoki. Six months has passed since Harutora and Tuji enrolled into Anyu Academy, and the students prepare for their end-of-year exams. Natsume is trying to make Harutora pass his exams by helping him in his studies. In a second duel with Kyuko, Harutora manages to beat one of her two Shikigami. Tuji meets Mio in her room where she discusses about the practical exam, which will be the purification of a simulated spiritual disaster. She tells him about this exam as she thinks Tuji has a handicap in this exam for being a victim of the spiritual disaster which happened two years ago. Meanwhile, Jin Otomo meets Days and Amami of the Anmu Agency. Amami, Jin, and the current investigator of the Twin Horn Syndicate, Atsun Harada, discuss about the future plans of the Twin Horn Syndicate which caused the spiritual disaster two years ago. Ashia Dauman had contacted a member of the Twin Horn Syndicate, Chihiro Muto, to conduct a new spiritual disaster. The next day, the simulated spiritual disaster practical exam is held. However, the exam doesn't go well as a Chimera Zero One Type Nu appears in the exam site due to the miasma getting stronger. Upon sensing danger, Natsume summons Hokuto to expel the miasma and keep her classmates safe. Riji Kagami, while pursuing the new, appears at the exam site. While Toji is in pain due to the strong miasma, Riji notices him becoming a half-ogre. In a flashback, Tuji remembers his past during the time he was receiving treatment from Harutora's father. It is revealed that two years ago Tuji was possessed by the same ogre which caused the spiritual disaster. Tuji is later admitted to the hospital, but disappears after regaining consciousness. Zenjiru Kogur and his Shikigami pair of Karasu Tengu arrive at the scene of the growing spiritual disaster. He and Riji suspect the Twin Horn Syndicate of causing the event. The two of them leave the scene to go after the new. Natsume agrees to aid the Anyo agency by using her dragon, Hokuto, 
to help fight the spiritual disaster. Tenma, Khan, and Harutora search for Tuji, while Natsume and Kyuko meet Zenjiru. Later, Harutora runs into some strangers, but Kakuyuki arrives and tells them to stop making a scene. Before disappearing, Kakuyuki tells Harutora about Tuji's whereabouts. Meanwhile, Riji Kagami and Iwo Miyachi tries to take down the Chimera 01. While fighting, Harutora explains that Tuji can't kill him because Tuji loves his friends. While Mary Yuji is making a special barrier to contain the Chimera 01, Okuda lures the new towards the barrier. Later, Chihiro Muto casts a spell which causes the Chimera 01 to progress into a Phase 4 phenomena. After witnessing the Chimera 01 progress to a Phase 4 phenomena, the new starts to run away with Natsume and Zenjiru in pursuit. Back in the hospital, Tuji wakes up and finds that Moyo has loosened his ogre seal. She tells him to control his ogre power instead of merely dragging it away. Elsewhere, Riji Kagami, Iwao Mayachi, and other Onyuji exorcists are purifying the Chimera 01. Zenjiru and Natsume are stopped by Chihiro Mutobe in their chase. Zenjiru faces Chihiro while the others continue after the new. Meanwhile, Tenma comforts Tuji and tells him he still considers Tuji a friend. Tuji decides to help Harutora against the new and later arrives at the scene. After an intense battle, they are successful in purifying it. Riji Kagami comments how their actions will cause Natsume to be famous among the Yako followers and will re-energize them. He meets Otomo, who warns him to stay away from his students. Zenjiru also arrives and tells them he failed to take Chihiro Mutobe into custody, since he had placed a suicide spell on himself and died. Shortly after that, everyone feels the powerful presence of Ashia Daoman, who was planning to retrieve the new for himself but failed. At soon Hirata is seen performing the Teizen Fukun ritual thanking Chihiro Mutobe for his work. One month after the spiritual disaster, the second great purification of March 3, caused by the Twin Horn Syndicate, Anyo Academy's entrance ceremony is held in Suzuka Derenji and Rolls. She notices Hirutora in the ceremony and declares that he was her first kiss which causes him to be bombarded with questions. Zenjiro Koger tells Jin Otomo that the Anyo Agency enrolled Suzuka in the Academy as her penalty for the incident she caused last year. Jin states that the Anyo Academy will take care of Suzuka for her re-education. Natsume becomes worried because Suzuka saw her dressed as a girl during last year's incident, so she continues to hide herself from Suzuka. While searching for Suzuka, Harutora meets an unusual senior third-year student who seems interested in Khan. Later in the evening, Suzuka reveals to Harutora that the Onmyo Agency sealed most of her magic powers and gave her a penalty of staying in Onmyo Academy for three years. The next day, she keeps wanting to meet Natsume. Toji suggests that Harutora tell her about Natsume's circumstances regarding the family tradition to dress as a boy. Harutora talks to Suzuka. She cries that even though she killed Hokuto, Harutora doesn't resent her. Harutora releases Suzuka from her guilt when he tells her that Hokuto was in fact a Shikigami controlled remotely by its user. After their conversation, Suzuka notices Natsume's presence and quickly recognizes her as the girl who wore the priestess outfit. After learning about Natsume's real gender, Suzuka continues to bully both Harutora and Natsume, though she chooses not to reveal the secret to anyone. As punishment for not answering her phone calls, Suzuka decides to investigate both Harutora's and Natsume's rooms. Natsume becomes very reluctant and defensive. Suzuka notices a barrier placed on Natsume's closet, but Natsume summons Hokuto and ends the situation. The next day, Harutora notices that Khan is still in her physical form and can't transform back. Toji suggests that it was Natsume and Suzuka's fault due to the spells used in the closet incident. Suzuka and Natsume both refuse to ask for the teacher's help. Khan wants to follow Harutora through school, so she disguises herself wearing Harutora's favorite tiger imprinted jacket. She causes trouble in the cafeteria when she is mistaken for a tiger shikigami. The school issues a tiger warning and calls the Anyo agency for help. The principal and Zenjiru conclude that someone sent a tiger shikigami to attack the students. While Suzuka helps Khan escape, Zenjiru attacks them. They manage to escape, but Harutora's jacket gets destroyed in the process. Suzuka, Khan and Harutora are scolded by Jin and Khan is able to get rid of her physical form. In the end, Suzuka is seen sleeping with a one-eyed tiger plushie toy. Harutora's whole class goes on a Shikigami training camp somewhere in the mountains. Suzuka also attends the tour, much to Harutora's and Natsume's dismay. Tuji then asks Suzuka for a partnership to defend themselves against the Yaku devotees who are after Natsume. She complies, leading Natsume to ask Suzuka if she really is Yaku's reincarnation. Suzuka believes Natsume is but can't be sure. She tells him about the raven coat, a spiritual tool Yaku used to wear that is the only way to find out if Natsume really is his reincarnation. Jin Otomo and a principal overhear their conversation. Jin believes that the real raven coat is in Onyo Academy, 
and the one in the Anyo Agency is just a replica based on information he learned from a man named Ryo Sautome. The next day, Haritora is stopped by Kyuko who wants to know if he really likes Suzuka. Out of nowhere, Suzuka steps in and rants on about how Harutora likes Hokudo and not her. Harutora tells Kyuko about how Hokudo was a Shikigami being controlled outside, and Kyuko speculates that Hokudo's controller had to be very powerful to make Hokudo seem like a real person for so long. Later on the bus ride home, Harutora notices the pink ribbon in Natsume's hair and realizes that it's the exact ribbon he won for Hokudo at the fair, making him believe that Hokudo's real controller was Natsume. The episode starts off with Kekujuki finding Dalman Ashea to talk about his next move. Dalman mentions his familiar. It cuts to Harutora and Natsume thinking about talking to each other about Hokudo. Harutora gets distracted practicing an invisibility spell and gets bound by swallow whips while Natsume worries whether Harutora still likes her, Toji assures her he does. Delman makes his move as it soon Hirata slips a talisman onto Tenma. Tenma thinks about his parents' accomplishments. The Anyo agency hold a meeting about Doman's moves as Zenjiru Kogyur speculates that Anyo Academy will be attacked. Harutora and Natsume try to confess, but the mysterious third year, Suzu, interrupts. Jin Otomo, their homeroom teacher, is not there to teach. They discuss that during lunch, then see a broadcast about the Anyo agency being attacked. Harutora sees Dalman on the street below the school as Dooman smiles and armored familiars approach. In the aftermath of Dooman's attack, Harutora and Natsume have a strange encounter and learn new information. The members of the Twin Horn Syndicate start panicking as the plan to eradicate them from the Anyo agency begins. Harutora and the others face off against Ashia Doman invades Anyo Prep with his army of Suchikmosis, he searches for the Raven Coat. A spirit disaster begins at the Anyo Agency's branch office. Harutora, Natsume, and the others fight against Shaver, who has become increasingly berserk. In the process, Natsume's true gender is revealed in front of her friends and other students. To protect her, Harutora manages to tap into the power of the star mark she gave him earlier. He realizes he can now sense the type of spirits around him and how to fight them. He defeats Shaver and the remaining spirits. Later, Amani talks with the chief about Takiko Suma, assuming she is part of the Twin Horn Syndicate. Selma enters the room, and Amani finds out the chief is also working with her. She presumably kills Amami for knowing too much. Suma and the chief agree that it's time to attempt turning Natsume into Yaku by using the Raven Coat. School classes resume as usual. Suzuka persuades Kurahashi to make up with Natsume and Harutora, despite Kurahashi's disappointment that they all kept secrets from her. Harutora talks to Kyuko, then realizes that he is the one from her childhood memories. The next day, the Tsuchimikado house is found to be burned down with Natsume's father nowhere to be found. The events leading up to the fire are revealed. Mary Yuji, on behalf of the Anyo Agency, had come to take Natsume's father into custody. Later, Jin talks to the newly reincarnated Ashia Dauman, learning that the Twin Horn Syndicate has supporters in the Anyo Agency. Suma learns of the fire and reveals to Natsume, Harutora, and the others that she is somehow connected to the Anyo Agency. She duels with Natsume, testing whether Natsume is worthy as Yaku's reincarnation. Jin Sensei steps in to break up the fight when he notices that Harutora's spirit energy seems unusual. Later, Natsume makes up with Kyuko, and they acknowledge that they will be rivals for Harutora's attention. The principal talks to Jin Sensei about him resigning as a teacher and working independently behind the scenes again. She offers to protect Natsume in Jin's stead, but is also shocked when Jin reveals that Natsume is actually a girl. Meanwhile, Chief Kurahashi is shown talking to a man who is bound to Takiko Suma. He claims to be Yashihara, one of the Imperial pallbearers that Suma can summon. Selma enters with Mutobe, the other pallbearer. She questions whether Natsume can become their comrade and becomes very excited when she is presented with a package presumably containing the raven coat. Natsume reminisces about her childhood, revealing her attempts to be close to Harutora through Hokuto. Later, the group goes to the fireworks festival. While Natsume and Harutora are alone together, she begins to tell him about Hokuto. Their conversation soon gets interrupted when Suma Takiko arrives. She then explains her family's connection to Yaku and reveals that Harutora is Yaku's true reincarnation. She lets loose the raven coat, but instead of settling on him, it begins to possess him. By this time, all the others have arrived to the scene and they follow Harutora in an attempt to stop him. Natsume recalls all the events up till date and realizes that the star spell she placed on him really didn't give him spiritual seeing power, it only undid half the curse which was sealing his natural abilities. She decides to completely undo the seal so that Harutora's spiritual power can settle down. After doing so, the raven coat stops possessing him. In the process, however, Natsume is fatally injured but manages to tell Harutora that she loves him. Harutora runs off with Natsume's body with Toji and Suzuka following. They encounter Derenji Shido, 
Takiko's summon familiar, Suzuka recognizes that he is her father, though he had died and was brought back to life. He tries to persuade Harutora to join the Twin Horn Syndicate, offering the Teizen Fukun ritual to bring Natsume back to life as a bride. He departs, and the Onmyo Agency catches up, taking Harutora in for interrogation. Toji and the others wait at the Onmyo Agency, explaining what happened to the principal. She talks with Sinjiro, and they say they'll handle things. Toji and the others decide to sneak back to the Onmyo Agency later to see Harutora and attempt to retrieve Natsume's body in case there's any chance of reviving her. Meanwhile, Jin Sensei visits Natsume and apologizes for not saving her. He calls Ashia Duman and asks for his help to attack the Onyo Agency. Hirotora talks with Chief Kurahashi and Yashimaru about resurrecting Natsume with the Teizen Fukun ritual. He almost agrees to cooperate with them when Khan appears and talks him out of trusting such shady people. She assures him that if he is Yaku's reincarnation, he will find a way to revive her himself. Meanwhile, Delman and Jin Sensei attack the Onyo Agency. Mayachi fights against Delman while Jin Sensei runs into Kagami. Toji, Suzuka, and Kyuko also move in to try finding Hirotora. A flashback reveals how Tenma single-handedly infiltrated the Anyo Agency and broke the seal on the Raven Coat. He's aided by a magic spider, one of the spells his mother developed. Days in Amami is shown to still be alive, possibly the one controlling the spider. Jin Sensei easily defeats Kagami. Tuji retrieves Harutora from Chief Kurahashi and Yashimaru. They meet up with Suzuka and Kyuko outside. Tenma appears with the Raven Coat, and they all manage to get away from the Anyo Agency. Tenma relays that Suzu has offered assistance with the Teizen Fukun ritual if Harutora chooses to do it to which he says he will. Zenjiro and Jin Sensei appear after hearing their plan. Zenjiro plans on stopping them from using forbidden magic. Kyuko manages to slip into a star-reading state for the first time and tells them that she still sees Natsume's stars and that she's waiting for Harutora. Harutora, Suzuka, and Tuji get away to find Natsume. Yaku's memories of meeting Khan, Hishimaru, are shown. Presently, Harutora continues on by himself to retrieve Natsume's body. Kagami intercepts him, calling out Shaver to fight as well. He stabs Khan and Harutora rushes to protect her. In the process, his left eye gets slashed and is almost killed. Enraged, Khan decides to release the seal on her to access her full power. She transforms into a grown version of herself, E. Hishimaru, and Kakuyuki appears. They fight off Kagami and Shaver and rescue Harutora, showing their loyalty to him. The three continue on and find Natsume, then meeting up with Suzu to perform the Teizen Fukun ritual. Elsewhere, Jin has Ashia Duman become his familiar. Harutora's friends also wait to hear from him, receiving only a vague phone call from Suzu saying that the ritual kind of worked. Harutora is shown with Natsume again, just long enough for her to repeat that she loves him and for him to kiss her. She supposedly drifts off, with Harutora promising he'll see her again before departing to the sunrise, with Hishimaru and Kakuyoki following him as his loyal subjects.